Hey guys, welcome back to the Prehistoric Life Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Crawford, and as y'all can tell by the title, it's a bit different. There's two parts to it, Fossil Fest and Allosaurus versus Stegosaurus. Now, y'all are probably thinking, well, it's the first Friday for the tournament. Why, why aren't you just doing the Allosaurus versus Stegosaurus? That is what I'm doing. That 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 is what I'm doing. Um, But I also wanted to talk about Fossil Fest, so... So for the time that this is coming out on YouTube, it'll be Wednesday. So I guess it was two days ago, three-ish days ago, Sunday. Um, on fr- I guess if you see this on Friday, whenever the other episodes come out, um, yeah, like a week ago, um, basically just Sunday the fourth, or for me, the time I'm recording this, the day of. Um, I went to Cypress Gardens for Fossil Fest. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, you guys will see that I posted some stuff about it at here. Um, let me see if it'll actually open. Cypress Gardens uh, at Fossil Fest. This is just the Palmetto Fossil Excursions. There were some other people there um, that I met, and I'm going to try to interview. So get your hopes up. Um. Yeah, but it was February 3rd through 4th, and I hope they do it again next year. I may try to get a table. I don't know. I'll see what I can do. Maybe I can do something cool. I'll see. But, yeah, I just got some cool pictures and stuff I wanted to show and talk about. So, uh, at one of the tables was – and I'll show their business card so that you guys can all go and – Blow up his email or whatever. Um, there it is. Shark Tooth Shack. So instead of fossil, now we have Fossil Shack and Shark Tooth Shack. These are one of the people that I gave some information to and I'm hoping to interview. Um, so yeah, they had a booth set up. Um, one of the things they had was smiling on teeth. Trust me, you know your boy delivered. And he most definitely got a pair of Smilodon fangs. They're about, uh, wow, um, seven, seven, eight inches, give or take, uh, up and down, if you want to go by that. Um, so yeah, they're about seven or eight inches. So that's them whenever I was picking them out. Uh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Palmetto Fossil Excursions. They had a really cool booth set up. I know they were one of the first people that I was supposed to interview. There's their card for anybody who wants to pause the video and scan it, do whatever, blow up their email. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. They were one of the first people I was supposed to interview, but she's been trying to open a museum of her own. So, yep. Um, there's one of the things, it was a walrus skull, uh, what is that, like a ancient dolphin up here, and like, another thing, I think that was Bacillosaurus, Bacillosaurus, no, that was it. Um, yes, the guy who does, who found Sue, the T-Rex, I just want to tell everybody about this. Is coming to South Carolina. So if you live in South Carolina like I do. And you went to this event. Go check that out. Because you know your boy is already going to go and try to hit that up. March 9th. So it's a Saturday. Um, Go do that. ASAP. Um, There's a picture of some gators that Cypress Gardens had. There's a better. You can kind of see them sticking up out of the water. Uh, there's a picture of the swampy Cypress Gardens. Yeah, nothing special really there. Um, and here's some stuff that you know your boy picked out. Uh, sorry, gotta get the book from um, what was his name? Oh, sorry, I guess Bob Gale, Pam Gale, as Ash Ashby. Gale, so the Gales. Um, they signed it and all. Happy hunting. I gotta contact them or something. But that's their book. 
if you guys want to buy it, it should be out. I mean, I got my copy and it's signed. It's real cool, but it basically just talks about uh, shark teeth, fossils, and that tend to be. Here, hang on. It tends to talk about fossils in the coastal regions. So, yeah. There it is. I mean, go check it out. There's some stickers and stuff that he gave me. Some ground sloth, stingrays, bird, or not birds. What was that? Sharks, things like that. It's all in there. If y'all are interested, please, I do suggest go check out the book. It is a good book. I have not read it cover to cover yet, but trust me, I will. Um, as you can see, that's where he signed it. Um, Yeah. Yeah, 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 the Smilodon fangs. You know your boy got them Smilodon fangs. So I'll put them back out on display. Look at that. Look at those beautiful things. Here, you know what? Let's get that second camera up. Look at those. Wow. Look how big those things are. It's as big as the book. I mean, that thing, they're as big as the book. Wow. And they are molds from... um. A Smilodon specimen in, I think the dude said China, if I'm not mistaken. This thing look off center. There you go. Uh, yep. So there's that. Oh, yeah. Another dude. Hopefully go out hunting with him. So you probably wonder, I don't even know how to like properly display this thing. I guess it would be like this. Um. This just looks like a hunk of bone to some people. I I mean, so there it is on the Instagram, but I'm showing it not in the Instagram. So yeah, uh, so look at that. Look at this thing. Um, you're probably wondering what is it. You're probably like Eric, you got a hunk of bone. You wasted your money. What is that thing? That is actually the neck bone. So. I got my Allosaurus right here because it's for the episode. So you got the skull, and you'll have like a bone connecting the skull to the um, like neck, the vertebra. This is that piece. The skull would sit in here, and it's like the ball and socket joint, so it can look around. And then on the other side is where a uh, vertebra would kind of sit in and basically connect. So yeah, there's that. Um, there's another picture of it. Yeah. Uh, so here's this thing, which no, again, looks like another hunk of bone, but in any true fossil freak, fossil finder, fossil connoisseur, um, there it is on Instagram. If y'all are curious, uh, yeah, and there's the days and stuff and all that. Um, we're not worried about that. That was the wrong button. And that's something else I'll get to. Uh, yeah, right here. This is a vertebra, a whale vertebra. Yeah, there it is. You can see it from the side. You can see the sides, and there's it would connect up here. Um it is not the same whale. No, don't get any ideas, but that is basically kind of how it would can probably like that connect to this thing. Um, it, if it were the correct whale vertebra, but it's not. So, and I'm keeping it in this bag cause it's rather dusty. So I'm trying not to get everything dirty with it. So yeah, those are some really cool things that I picked up from uh, fossil fest. 2024 at Cypress Gardens. So, yeah. Um, now on to the next news, which is again, y'all guys got a little glimpse at it. As you can see, I got the first signature. On the skull. Sky. 
no, not Dinomancer, but Palmetto Fossil Excursion Sky signed the skull, basically contracting her to come on the show one day. <clears throat> Didn't tell her that part. <laughs> I'm just messing. If she watches this, she'll know. She'll get it. Um, she knows I'm just messing. Um, but yeah, I got her to sign it. So yeah, there's her signing it. Kind of glitchy, but yeah. Um, some more images of her signing it. There's the actual signature on it. Uh, yeah, there's that. But yeah, I got her to sign it. Um, so yeah, if, if you want to see any cool content like that, go check out the Instagram page. Cause that's where I post all this stuff. So you guys can stay ahead of things and you know, if I'm going to talk about it in an episode, I'm probably going to post about it. So yeah, go, go check out the, um, Instagram page. Cause that's where I post things like this. And I post about that kind of content and I make little reminders and things about it. I mean, yeah, I mean, so go check them out. I mean, and Palmetto Falso excursions, check them out too. But yeah, now we can get to the secondary part of this episode after I figure out how to put this skull up real quick. Hang on. There we go. That should sit there safely. You can watch me struggle. Um, to the next part of this episode. Forgot my notebook. Is the first battle of the tournament. Allosaurus Feralagus, or just Allosaurus. Right here. This bad boy, the bad mamma jamma, big Al himself, versus ooh, Spike from Land Before Time, the oh, pointed lizard itself. That's not actually what his name means. Its names means like roofed lizard, I think. Um, Stegosaurus. This guy. So, yeah, so I'm going to go over some characteristics. So, Stegosaurus was 25 feet long versus the ooh, Allosaurus, 36 to 40 ish feet long. So, Allosaurus was longer. Um, Stegosaurus was about two tons. Allosaurus was 1.5 to 5 ish tons. Um, Stegosaurus was nine feet tall, while Allosaurus was 16 feet tall. So, Allosaurus is larger. And here's the thing about this. Another reason why I wanted to talk about Fossil Fest is because this episode is probably going to be shorter due to the battle. Um, don't get me wrong. This is going to be another battle episode. But these things lived in the same time period. In fact, Allosaurus hunted, actively hunted Stegosaurus. So we can kind of see where this is going. I mean. Yeah. one's the active predator for the other. Don't get me wrong, Stegosaurus is not a pushover, but, and it's not just because I have a fondness for Allosaurus, but, yeah, you could probably see where this is going. Um, But, yeah, I'm going to go over some character, tra character traits and things about it. I'm going to start with Stego, so, as you can see, it's got plates on its back, kind of protecting its back from any strikes head down. It's got that really big old thagomizer kind of terrorizing things that it'll swing it around and whack the nuggets off of anything. I mean, but yeah, and it's like a big animal, so it can kind of knock and buck anything that it needs to. But now let's talk about Allosaurus. The jaw. Of Allosaurus, not the strongest bite force. Um, but it could unhinge its bottom jaw, if that makes sense to anybody. On top of the fact that it uses the top of its head like an axe. Now, what does that mean? 
it would swing its head kind of down and just kind of scrape bits off. Not really, or sink into it and just kind of rip and tear. Um, it's got those big old hand claws with the big old hooks for grabbing. Um, it is bigger. It can probably kick too. As long as it's not overdoing it, kind of. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the actual fighting portion of this. So <clears throat> it's just going to be in an open Jurassic field like the background kind of is. Uh, Jurassic wasteland kind of thing. So the Allosaurus is watching this it approaches from the front, sees the Stegosaurus right head on. While the Stegosaurus is grazing, it doesn't notice the Allosaurus. But it looks up and sees it, and that's when it notices it. It turns to the side to get the Thagomizer ready to swing. Allosaurus is the active predator. So it knows to stay away from the tail and aim for the head or the side. Um, yeah, the Allosaurus charges in. The, the Stegosaurus swings. It brings its tail back and swings, but Allosaurus is quick enough, and it sees it coming, and it dodges. Uh-oh, Stegosaurus miss, misses, but it quickly readjusts and gets on the side, but Allosaurus is too close. Quickly taking a bite, taking a chunk out of that back leg. Taking that chunk out, biting into the side, hacking down with his jaw, making uh, Stegosaurus scream out in pain. Stegosaurus quickly stumbles back, getting its tail ready for round two, but Allosaurus doesn't give it a break. Quickly biting back into the, to the um, back leg. Painful chunks are ripped out of the Stegosaurus's side and legs as it cries out for, for help, but nothing is around to hear it. Allosaurus actually gets a bite on one of the um, plates and starts to pull on it down, yanking its head, kind of breaking the plate, snapping it down. If you know, those things are kind of attached, not really directly attached to the vertebrate, but it's not going to be painful. Stegosaurus quickly... Catches the Allosaurus in the side with the Thagomizer, actually puncturing two holes. The Allosaurus screams out in agony as the Stegosaurus pulls out. The Thagomizer actually snaps, one of the pieces snaps off and stays inside of the Allosaurus. The Allosaurus uses its claws to kind of grip and rip on the sides of the uh, Stegosaurus, maybe taking some chunks out with its claws. And as this Allosaurus pushes forward, it actually rolls the Stegosaurus onto its uh, side. The Stegosaurus is trying to get up, trying to get up, but the Allosaurus holds it down with its hands as it takes its head and it bites and it hacks straight down onto the Stegosaurus's skull, finishing the game. Stegosaurus, with one final attempt, tries to bellow out into the throat. Of Allosaurus, but nothing can hear it as its jaws finally clamp shut, cutting the jugular off. And Allosaurus basically snaps the neck of the Stegosaurus and is game over. Allosaurus is the victor of this episode, so it will actually move on to the next level in the um uh what you call it tournament um allosaurus is our victor big al is our first victor granted it's not just because i'm biased these things were actively hunting stegosaurus so that's and i mean even if you go on google and you look up who would win allosaurus or stegosaurus google itself says stegosaurus or uh allosaurus sorry wrong one and also you know, I haven't got that little, little bit of bias, but yeah, I'm just saying. I feel like Allosaurus would win, I would say, six or seven times out of ten. 
I'm not saying Stegosaurus doesn't stand a chance. Stegosaurus could very well have pulled this out, puncturing it on the leg, breaking its leg or something, making it stumble over as it kind of tramples it or uses that thagomizer and punctures the skull or something, rupturing the brain or some kind of vital organ. But I think that Allosaurus, like I said, seven times out of ten, beats Stegosaurus down. And, I mean, as sad as it kind of is to say, I do love – this isn't the sad part. I love ha- – uh, not Hadrosaurus. Um, herbivores. Herbivores are amazing, man. I mean, I love me a sauropod, but Allosaurus was definitely – should move on from this and i get the guy who suggested it was like yeah the alice the jurassic duel but it's like eh, one's a predator so yeah but again fossil fest was amazing so i had fun with that and i'm your host eric crawford signing off allosaurus will move on remember check out the instagram that's where you see all that stuff like fossil fest and all of the upcoming stuff like you will see the um Darn it. What do you call it? The uh, tournament. You'll see that move on. Um, Go check out the YouTube. Hopefully it actually loads and it's not just YouTube, but it's actually my channel. Maybe if it'll load. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Um, But yeah, there's the YouTube channel. It try to post everything a little bit earlier on there by two or so ish days so yeah go check that out definitely um go give that subscribe uh on top of that if you want all of that kind of in one general area where is it where is it go check out the um website just saying Go check out the websites in one area. As you can see, the YouTube and the Instagram is there. Um, But as of sponsors, again, uh, Red Rocks and Raptors, go check it out on Dinosaur Trips. Dr. Brian Curtis should be leading it. Um, $250 off if you tell him that Fossil Crate sent you. So go book a trip. Take a nice trip out west. Go see some dinosaurs. Shoot me a text. I'll maybe do an episode on it if enough people message me. Um, there's Dinosaur Trips itself. There's their Instagram. So go follow their Instagram. Go look at all that. They got all that stuff there. But again, I'm your host, Eric Crawford. This has been Prehistoric Life Podcast. Signing off. I will see you all next time. Until then, remember, keep it prehistoric. Bye.